Cell phone video captured the horrific scene as at least one gunman, believed to be a Palestinian, opened fire at a bus station in Beersheba. One attacker and at least one Israeli were killed and several were seriously injured in what is the latest in a series of escalating attacks that have Israelis now taking matters into their own hands. The Krav gun shop and shooting range in Jerusalem was packed today as Israeli civilians clamored to buy guns. If we were 24 hours a day, it would probably be insufficient to cover all the people coming in now. Shooting instructor Ari Dabuller said in the last week, hundreds of Israelis have applied for permits and signed up for shooting tutorials after nearly a month-long wave of Palestinian attacks. I think it's important in, uh, in these cases to have a means of self-defense. Police have tried to defuse the mounting tension by blocking off Arab neighborhoods. But there are fears such measures could fuel more attacks and protests that began after rumors Israeli politicians wanted to block Palestinian access to the revered Al-Aqsa Mosque. In one of five separate attacks yesterday, this Israeli civilian was seen on camera holding a gun moments after he shot and killed a Palestinian he says tried to stab him. Heavily armed Israeli police were on patrol at tonight's attack, but they were unable to stop it in time.